All right. Well, since everybody's getting the new HNC uh, two tank killer module, I figured that would be a good idea to make a short video on how to use uh, the Mavericks for this thing. And so the first thing you actually want to do is to go to your DM DSMS screen and select your Mavericks. In this case, I'm going to use the Delta, which are the inferred ones. Go to Missile and make sure that the, the EO uh, setting is on, which means that it's um, uh, warming up or cooling down, depending on the kind of missile. All right, once you've done that, you go to the Maverick screen. Uh, once you're here, you might notice that the Maverick screen is not up yet. It takes like three minutes to warm up or cool down, depending on what you're doing. So after do doing that, you, you, what you want to do is go and set your TCP on your other MFD and set it to air to ground. That's the TCP symbology in the center of the hood over there, that rhomboid symbol. And what you want to do is, in, in our case, we've got a waypoint, a steer point with a couple of targets. So I'm going to select that. And I'm going to steer my aircraft over there. And what you can see here is that the uh, uh, that, is, that is the uh, waypoint symbology. Uh, this waypoint over here has got a leg pointed to the center of the hut. That means that that waypoint is currently an SPI. What I want to do next is uh, uh, set the TCP as soy with my coolie switch right long. There we go. It's set as soy. And what I want to do next is set all my sensors to point to the SPI, which is currently my waypoint. Okay, how do I do that? I press China hat. Uh, forward long and there we go uh, the other thing I want to do is obviously select the target okay I'm gonna slew a little bit over here what I did to zoom in with my targeting pod is to use uh, DMS forward and aft you can do this and you can zoom in afterwards what I want to do is generate a point track on this guy here and after doing that I want to create a new SPI because obviously you can see that my Mavericks are point to the waypoint, which is my current SPI, and my my track is over there. So what I want to do is uh, uh, TMS forward long, and now the Mavericks are pointing to the same place that my TGP is. You'll notice I'm at, I'm, that I pass the minimum range here, so I'm going to select cool switch left and and do a little bit of a slew here. And I think, there we go, and rifle. This is a very close one. It might not hit, but it did, shack. Well, uh, this demonstration wouldn't be complete if I didn't show you how to use the uh, HUD for creating a mark point and then uh, slaving the TGP to it and and launching Maverick. So what you want to do is, as I just did right now, press your coolie switch up once and you'll notice that there's an asterisk on the HUD. Once you do that, you can basically, I'll show you right about, about here. Let's see, is there anything interesting over here? Oh yeah, there's a little town over there. All right, if I start slewing around, you'll see that uh, you've got a box here. This little box here allows you to create mark points. So if you press um, TMS right, I mean, if you long press TMS right, you'll see that it created a mark point. If you then set all your sensors to look at speed, because obviously that mark point, as you can see, has a leg on it, that means that it's speed. There we go. All sensors are now looking at that speed with uh, China hat forward long. And you can now start slewing around again. I mean, you could use the TGP, set it as soy with the coolie switch. And you can, you can generate a new speed here by TMS forward long on that one. 
All right, that's basically it. And if you wanna correlate that, move a little, move the, there we go, the Maverick a little bit, and it's correlated. You can see it's correlated because the crosshairs are trying to uh, look at this thing here. See that it changes size. There you go. It lost uh, its out of gimbal limits. So suppose we already attacked this this guy over here and we we finished uh, working with mark point A. How do we get back to our uh, initial waypoint, which is MSN 000? You can see that waypoint one here yeah, is MSN 000. All right, uh, we can actually do that by uh, I think it's long pressing TMS down. Yeah, there we go. If you long press TMS down, it will set the SPI on the waypoint that we were currently at. And since our sensors are not currently looking at it, we want to do that again. And that should be chain hat forward long. All right, we've got our TGP over there, so coolly switch right for TGP. There we got one of those BDRs. All right, and then we can DMS forward to do zoom. Opa, there we go. Point track on that guy. You can actually switch with a boat switch to infrared. There we go. It's not helping a lot. And once we've done that, we can set this guy. As you can see, it's not he's not an SPI right now. And the Mavericks are not looking at him. That's basically how we know. And I just created him, set him as SPI. Um, force that. There we go. Cool switch right. Um, China had forward short for a little bit of zoom, or actually for the narrow view on the Mavericks. And I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna set the slew speed slower to one there we go rifle and I take advantage of that standoff ability that the map has got and shack all right so the other thing we can actually do is use our HMD to create mark points and then uh, set them up as Ps. Well, we, and, and we do that by pressing uh, our cool switch up once, which makes the hard as soy. You can see that over here. That's what we did before. And by pressing it up once more, we'll see that the asterisk, which is the indication that the HUD was soy, is now on the HMD. So the HMD is now soy. Uh, well, what we can do now is, there's gonna be a little bit clutter here, but uh, I'm gonna show you on this place. Uh, I can create a new mark point. Let's look at that spot over there. Oh, okay. I press TMS short right once, and that has created a mark point over there. If I press TMS right long, it will create, it will make that point P. I think I already demonstrated how to go back to the previous waypoint. Let's, let's do that. Uh, so that would be uh, TMS aft long. There we go. I selected that waypoint as P instead of the mark point. 